thanks to Alan and Denise, uh, we got to do some tasting here at Greens and Things in Korea. Today's food adventure was very exciting because we were invited to go behind the kitchen and film and we got to eat healthy food. This place has been open for less than a year and today we've been greeted by the most friendly general manager. Hi, I'm Victor Carvalho. I'm the manager here at Greens and Things. So this is the avocado sandwich. Look how pretty the layers are. Yolk pouring for you again because we don't do enough yolk pourings. <laughs> wow, that's a pretty good egg yolk pouring this today. Here is the deconstructed avocado, avocado toast. toast. Explain what's in it besides this bacon. You got avocado, sauteed tomatoes. No, no, I'm sorry. No, what is this? It's just regular tomatoes. Isn't yeah, it? regular tomatoes, cucumbers, uh, pea sprouts, bacon, uh, arugula, watermelon radish, and a, and a fried egg. Bam! It's on a multi grain toast with oven fried. Well, this is supposed to come with the burger, but we have to put it here to half. You do the honors. Oh, you just messed up that nice looking sandwich. <laughs> Good job. This is not a knife. You want I thought you were a chef. No, this is not what a knife. <laughs> this is <laughs> Boys and girls, this is not the way to cut a sandwich. <laughs> this is a deconstructed now. Oh boy. Hi, we're back. Sorry. That deserves an apology, yes. That's like a very messy sandwich to eat though. Dude, it's like, how do you eat this? This is like layered upon layers. Oh my god. Why would you put a mushy thing with another mushy thing? I don't know. An avocado with the hummus. Oh, that bean thing? That's no, really bean. good. It's bean. It's hummus. It's not kind of bean thing. All right, hummus is bean. Have you ever made bean, uh, hummus before? It's mm -hmm. made out of beans. No, it is beans. Oh. But what type of beans? Uh, hummus. You can use um, garbanzo beans. I've made hummus before. Look on Christy's Kitchen on YouTube. There's a recipe on yeah, she used, hummus. She made hummus using Instapot. Yeah. That's how you make it. Because you have to soak the beans overnight. You don't need to soak it in the, in the Instant Pot. No, no. But you have to soak it in water and the next day, you cook it in the Instant Pot. It's good. Trust me. Mm. Well, because if it's straight, we look like this. Our head gets cut off. So you have to like, do that. Okay? There's no choice. You need a bigger mouth. All right, so this I'm is what's done. going on. I'm done eating. You have the food. And that's where I put the tripod right there. So of course we're going to look a lot closer than we want to. Oh, and here's the footage of what the restaurant looks like. It's pretty big actually. Very, very bright. And there's a little cute teddy bear right there that you can take a picture with. Anyways. Sorry, excuse me. I farted, I burped. You farted or burped? Burped. On toasted brioche bun, then we have some sliced cucumber, some pickled uh, uh, vegetables, and then we have uh, it's a house on it, and then wrapped. Uh, sometimes it's the mushroom bar, so the beef, whatever works. 
puts the beef, the mushroom with the tomato, and then he puts some of the dressed arugula and then the bun on top. Okay. And that's why it comes out like that, like in the picture. Okay. And this is the shrooms burger. Then we got the burger. It's called a shroom burger. I don't know if you, you guys, when you guys were young, did some shrooms. That's what this is. Awesome. You get your high. Come here. Okay, whatever. All right, let's eat. All How right. about I start with the burger? You eat the salad, I'll eat the burger. No, I'm gonna try the burger too. The shroom burger, guys. Brioche. I like anything on brioche. Mm -hmm. Does it like warm? Definitely. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. get that again. You know what? I would come here and get this burger. Chris is like in and out. This is really good. Mm -hmm. It's actually really good. Mm -hmm. I thought this place is called Green and Things. So everything would be like green, like vegan, vegetarian. But no, they serve meat for people like me. Oh, you forgot to tell them. Mm -hmm. The meat here is grass fed. Oh, right. Grass fed. The bison's grass fed. The burgers gra uh, grass fed. Wait, if they're not grass fed, then what, what else would the cows be eating? Corn. Oh, ew. Yeah. Oh? Mm -hmm. Oh. One thing about coming over to restaurants and vlogging is that your food gets cold by the time you eat it. Cause Dude, this thing is already. I mean, it's inevitable because you end up taking pictures and videos and this and that. Well, I'm not, it gets no, cold. No, no, no. I'm going to sugarcoat it, guys. The food's cold. It's cold. But what can you do, right? So, or I'm gonna be like, oh wow, this thing is so hot. Oh my god. It can never be hot, especially when you're vlogging with food. Guaranteed. Unless you're literally just eating like a Chen, how do you do it? Mike Chen's different though. He's in a different level. Mike Chen, I wanna know exactly how you do this. <laughs> Mark Green too. Oh, yeah, Mark Green, Mark Mike Chen. Um, follow us. Guys, Mark Be with us. Mark Green, please. I don't, I don't want to eat any more cold food. Please. <laughs> Can we go travel with you? Can you tell us a secret? <laughs> this is the um, the house-made aioli that you dip your sweet potatoes in. It's really freaking good. There's a little bit of kick to it. They say they put a little uh, cayenne pepper, a little paprika in there. But man, it's freaking good. Mm. Oh yeah. Hey, okay, man. Yep, that's good. Mm -hmm. Um, the Charlie breakfast burrito. Okay. Cheddar cheese. And I'm just gonna... So basically, the Charlie is just um, cheese, spinach, some avocado, egg whites, my egg whites, and chicken sausage mixture into. So there's some Brussels, there's some shredded cabbage in there, like that, and then some of the butternut squash. This is steamed, right? Uh, this is roasted in the oven. Oh, roasted, okay. Yes. So, roasted butternut squash. Roasted nuts with butternut squash. One of my favorite um, fall veggies. Yes. It's going to be some of the dried tandoori. And then some of the roasted pita. Is it the maple syrup dressing? Maple syrup. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, maple vinaigrette. Oh, maple vinaigrette. <laughs> it just it has it. Bison, a uh, chopped chopped salad. So there's that bison meat, which I've never had, along with all these fresh. Uh, purple, pink salad, and all the good stuff. Gosh. That's how I describe the salad. Jesus. <laughs> Butternut squash salad mm -hmm. with deliciousness. Eat your greens, people. Good. 
-hmm. So it's a it's a very fall salad. I don't like Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts so good for you. I don't like butternut squash, but this pretty good. Okay. Guys, we made a mistake when ordering the salad. It, 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 on the menu, it said uh, grass-fed bison, and I thought it was an actual bison steak. You know what it is actually? It's actually bison burger meat, grounded up meat. Not too good. Mm. Sorry, very honest with you. I guess this one's kind of dry. Bison itself is, is a very lean meat. I've never cooked with bison, I've never had bison. It tastes like ground beef. You don't to do me. ground beef, do you, with bison? It's gonna dry out real fast, and that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> this, look at the color, guys. This acai bowl has um, the organic acai, and then they also put in this chia pudding along with uh, like assorted granola and topped with blueberries. That looks so good. What? That's really refreshing and healthy. Where was this one? Mm. This one, they scooped it, right? Mm -hmm. Came out like a ice cream carton. They got some seeds, mm. they got cranberries, blueberries. What's this? This is like a granola mix. Like a granola mix. Mm -hmm. This is really delicious. Mm. This right here, this bowl, will fill you up. Look how humongous this bowl is. Now, there's a 24 fitness next door. This is something really good to grab. Mm -hmm. After you burn your calories over there, something that I need to go do more often too. Mm. Okay. All right, guys. Well, you know it's another another food adventure with Christy and Daniel. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, guys. Peace. Oh, no. make sure you click on the thumbs up button and subscribe to Let's Mukba. They're not going to understand that. <laughs> and you're using that for some other YouTuber. Don't do that. I know. Sorry, dude. Sorry. We need to, we need to have like our own thing. No, again, that's, that's been used. We need something like catchy. Thanks, guys. Until next time. We're not Laura Vitale. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, subscribe. Make sure you click sure on that you subscribe button down there somewhere. Give us a thumbs up. That too. And subscribe guys. Bye. Bye. Tag us on Instagram. Ellie it's... Foodie Shop. Ellie Foodie what? Ellie Foodie Shop dead. Oh, <laughs> God. LA not chef. Miss Food Addict. Follow us right there. Tag us on Instagram. LA. LA. What are you doing? We don't do that in Brea, okay? We pay HOA here. We don't do gang signs. LA213. Tag us on Instagram. Miss Sweet Addict. LA.foodie.chef. I don't know this guy. Tag me. Bye. Bye, LA Foodie. No! That's LA sign. You don't do no LA sign in Orange County. We okay, don't do that here. What's Brea? B. B. Oh, don't do the blood sign. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs>